Hey there, pedal people. It's a pedal guy here. How you doing? Pedal demos, pedal knowledge, pedal sales, but you already knew that. In this video, we're going to do something a little different because we're going to be checking out the Tascam US 1x2 HR audio interface. But before we get to it, take a second and click on that subscribe button down there. If you're watching this on Facebook, click the like and follow button down there. Let us know that you want to see more content like this. It's all free. It's all for you to enjoy, and we'd love to have you along for the ride. So why are we talking about interfaces here? Well, quite simply put, to me, an audio interface represents the next step in your musical evolution. When you're writing music, when you're writing songs, when you're writing riffs, you want some way to capture those. And so you want to select a good audio interface so that you can record onto your computer or onto your tablet. And the good news with the Tascam product is that it actually works for Mac, it works for PC, and it works for iOS. So you really get the trifecta of solutions here. So what makes the US 1x2 HR interface so special? Well, it's got some great features, both hardware and software. I'm going to take you through it now. Let's get to it. Let's talk about durability. The US 1x2 HR audio interface has a full metal chassis. Now, when it comes to audio resolution, the US 1x2 HR interface has a bit depth of 24 bits, and it has a sampling rate of up to 192K. So you really are getting the most resolution possible for your recordings. One of the standout hardware features on this interface is the microphone preamp here on the far left. And this incorporates Tascam's exclusive technology, which is called a Ultra HDDA, which stands for High Definition Discrete Architecture. So it offers a really nice, crisp, clear sound with super low noise levels. Let's go ahead and do a quick tour of the front of the interface. All the way here to the far left is the microphone preamp, which I talked about before. It has its own individual gain knob, and it also has a signal and peak indicator, which is kind of unique because not all interfaces have both signal and peak built in. To the right of that, we have a line input, which can be used for either a line level or an instrument level. So you can plug your guitar straight into here if you want to. And you, of course, you also have a gain knob here as well. Now, further on to the right, we have the master line out volume and we have the headphone volume. And then we also have a quarter inch headphone jack. Now let's tour the back of the interface, starting at the far right. The far right, we have the fan and power switch. So you can use either a condenser or dynamic mic with the uh, front of the interface. You have your line outputs here, which are both RCA jacks. You have line inputs, which are also RCA jacks. And you can select whether you want to use the front or the back of the interface by using the input selectors. So you can either use the front or you can use the rear. Now moving to further to the left here, we have the direct monitor switch. Now, direct monitor pertains to uh, what's called latency, which is the delay between playing a note and hearing a note. Let's talk about that for a quick second. So let's do a quick sidebar about latency. Latency is simply put the delay between playing a note and hearing that note coming back from your computer after it's been processed. Ideally, you want that latency to be as minimal as possible, but there are circumstances that prevent that from happening, like the speed of your computer, or other circumstances that you may not be aware of. So having an audio interface with direct monitoring bypasses that whole problem because basically what happens is when you incorporate direct monitoring, when you play that note, it basically short stops the signal and it plays it back in real time while it's playing back anything that's been previously recorded from your DAW so that you can really hear it with the lowest possible delay. So if you use an interface with direct monitoring, you're gonna have a lot more success. Let's wrap up the back of the interface here real quick. You have a USB-C port and there is an included USB-C cable in the box. You also have a DC input so that you can use this with your iOS device. Now, if you intend to use this interface with an iOS device, you're gonna wanna make sure that you get yourself a camera connection kit, which you can purchase at any Apple store. And the other thing you're gonna need is some sort of power supply. So you can use a battery pack, uh, you can use a wall socket, you just have to make sure that you've got one of those micro USB cables. And finally, one of the feature sets that really sets this interface apart from the rest are the software offerings. Tascam gives you 
uh, a DAW for your Mac and your PC, and they give you a DAW for your iOS device, and they're both Steinberg based. So you have Cubasis for your iOS device, which you can download from the App Store, and they have a code in the box so you can unlock it, and they have Cubase LE for your Mac or your PC. But it doesn't stop there. In addition to that, they have IK Multimedia Sample Tank 4 SE with 30 gigabytes of content. So you've got samples until the cows come home. And finally, to cap it all off, they give you a three-month subscription to Antares Auto-Tune Unlimited. So you can auto-tune your vocals or whatever else you want to pop in there. And that really does create an amazing uh, and powerful software solution to get you started fast. All for 119 bucks. I mean, that's a pretty cool value. Okay, that wraps up this video. I hope you found it helpful. Now, if you want to know more about this interface and how to use it, let me know. Use the comments section below and say, Scott, I want to know how to use this interface with my DAW. How do I make this work for me as a guitar player? That's exactly what this is all about. So I hope you're getting the point of what I'm trying to drive home at here is that this is the next step in your musical evolution. And I'm going to help you every step of the way. But you got to let me know what you'd like to see. So do use that comment section. And of course, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, now would be a really good time to do it. Or if you want to, you can also follow me on Facebook or Instagram. But in any case, I hope you found this video helpful and we'll see you soon. Well, thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any further questions, be sure to visit us at thepedalguide.com. But in the meantime, follow us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, and also be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for weekly videos and tutorials. Thanks for stopping by here at thepedalguide.com, where I love pedals and so do you.